You gotta be a bad bitch to rock glasses like these. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be working on my beauty room today. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so embarrassed to show you guys, but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks now. Okay, so right now, this is how my beauty room is looking. It's so messy. I'm embarrassed. Okay, so right now I have this like shelf right here that I got from Ikea. And then this is where I do my nails. For those of you who don't know, I do do my own nails. If you guys wanna know how I do my nails, I'm gonna leave a link down below, down below. I'm gonna leave a link down below, okay? Okay, this is my clothing rack. This is like where I've been keeping like all the new things that I've been buying. I have these two shelves over here from Ikea and oh my gosh, the mess, but this is right now my vanity. Um, it's an absolute mess. I had to record like four videos and this is usually where I record my videos right now. Okay, so this vanity right here, I actually, I did that, I did that. So if you guys wanna know how I built this vanity mirror or whatever, I'ma link this down below too, okay? Okay, and then here's my ring light that is struggling. I bought the wrong size bulb, but you know, whatever, it works. And uh, this is my other shelf where I'm currently keeping my purses. Michaels was having a sale on these, so I went ahead and picked up two. They were like 40% off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this over here, put this in between those two, and we'll figure out the rest when we get there. So I'm gonna be doing this pretty much all night, and y'all just gonna be with me. So since I'm about to be up all night, and it's the holidays, I'm about to drink some, this is called cremas. This is like coquito, but it's like a Haitian version of coquito. One of my friends, Sabrina, made it for me, and I bought it off of her. I will actually link her Instagram down below. She sells them for like $25. Mm, so good. Mm. And for those of you who are uncultured, coquito or cremas is pretty much like the island version of a spiced eggnog, I guess you can say, but so much better. Literally looks like a tornado. Oh my gosh. So I got this one from Michaels and honestly, it's kind of cheap compared to the Ikea ones who like, they kind of have that, you know? Like it kind of rolls out, this one doesn't, but whatever. Okay, so this is where I put it. Now that it's there, I don't know if I want to keep it there. I am so tired. Oh my gosh, my lash is coming off. <gasps> Finally finished it. Y'all, I'm not gonna fix this lash, so don't even. But <laughs> I I literally have one more thing to build and I might just do it tomorrow. Like, you gotta be a bad bitch to rock glasses like these. Like, you can't just, like, 
wear these glasses just to wear these glasses. You gotta be a bad bitch <laughs> to wear glasses like these, okay? Let me go take these pictures, do a couple of TikToks, and I'll be right back. This is such a vibe. So I'm about to do some TikTok videos wearing this. Good morning. So it is the day after Christmas. Don't worry about her back there. She's just chilling. <laughs> but it is a day after Christmas and I honestly had a pretty good Christmas. It was really chill. You know, I hung out with my sister and we played Uno and that was it. But right now I am getting ready to go to my cousin's house and I'm gonna give them their gifts because they were out of town for Christmas. So I'm gonna go for that same vibe and aesthetic I had the other day. It was kind of like a Y2K type vibe. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my hair, accessorized, accessorized my hair, and I put on these cute earrings that I got from Forever 21. I love these earrings so much. They literally give me like Barbie vibes. What am I gonna wear? I think I'm gonna wear something simple. I think I'm gonna do all black and then like my white fur coat that I got from Forever 21. You're on my pillow right now, but I'm about to get dressed. I'm not wearing this dress today, but I just thought I'd put it on to take a couple pictures because this dress gives me like super Barbie vibes. I hate that in every house I live in, the good lighting is typically like facing towards the least aesthetic background. Okay, so outfit of the day. Um, I have on this like turtleneck bodysuit thing with some leggings, this fur coat that I got from Forever 21, this purse that I got from a friend. I will link her down below. I'll link her Instagram down below, but I love this purse. I literally wear it all the time and I get so many compliments. And I threw on a tennis necklace and you guys know the vibe to the hair but this is my outfit. I think I'm gonna throw on either sneakers or sandals. Most likely it's gonna be sandals cause your girl wears acrylic on her big toes and they don't like sneakers, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this off cause I'm getting hot. Ugh, I have the heater on in my car. I just recorded three TikTok videos and they are so lit. I actually really like them. I'm actually really happy about it. Always wear your seatbelt, guys. I used to work for a quadriplegic man, and I regret working for this man, but <laughs> he, he became quadriplegic because he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. And to see like the everyday, everyday struggles that he went through was just enough to get me to wear my seatbelt every day. Like, this man had the roughest life as a quadriplegic. This man went through a lot as a quadriplegic. Um, and by quad, I mean like, he got into a car accident. I think he, he said that he flung out the windshield, um, hit a tree or something like that. And then um, he broke a couple of bones in his spine and he is paralyzed nipple down for the rest of his life. And he goes through, he went through so much. So with that being said, put your seatbelt on. It ain't worth it. In the ghetto. Okay, so I am at the Global Market in Orlando because I'm gonna get some sea moss gel for my mom. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, thank you. Well, they are closed. This is kind of out of the way from my house. I'm actually a little upset that they're closed. <laughs> Pine heels, baby. This is the hood. Okay, so at some point today, I need to go to the beauty supply store to re-up on my favorite lashes. See, I, I have a thing with beauty supply stores. I don't know if I should have this debate right now. I'm not sure, but majority of beauty supply stores are owned by 
Middle Easterns, Arabs, whatever. I have nothing against Middle Easterns. I did work for a specific Middle Eastern and he was an absolute terrible person. Like absolute racist, absolute, just all around a terrible, terrible human being. By the way, I was being very vague and I didn't really go into detail about what this man has done and said to me and my family. But if you guys want a full detailed story time, let me know because <laughs> you'll understand why I feel the way I feel. I would just hear the things that they would say about black people because obviously, you know, he brought like his friends and stuff around and his family and friends and whatever would either own or would have had worked at beauty supply stores because, you know, they keep it in the family. They usually try to keep the business within the family or within the culture or whatever. Last side note, I'm speaking of a very specific Arab owned beauty supply store in Florida. If you do your research, you can figure it out because it is the biggest Arab owned beauty supply store in Florida. However, I have been in the same room with their family members and I have heard the terrible things that they said they have heard from the owners themselves about black people. I have heard from Arabs that if anyone other than an Arab opens up a beauty supply store, they will contact other like vendors to not supply to those specific stores if that makes sense like they'll they will literally be like yo if you if you supply to them i will never buy from you again and i will tell all of my other like you know friends to never buy from you again you know i try to support like black owned beauty supply suppliers or whatever over Middle Eastern <laughs> beauty supply stores because I have just heard like the terrible things that they have said about African Americans and black people. Child, I buy my shit from Amazon or black owned suppliers. I try my best. I try my best. I really do. Now I'm not saying all of them are like this, but from my experience, anytime I go into a beauty supply store, they treat me very shitty. And I have heard firsthand what they say and think about black people. So it makes me not want to support them. Sorry. My camera's dying, so let me get this point out. I've heard this more so from the old school Middle Easterns or even, even the younger ones who still have that like old school mentality. But the super Americanized ones, they're not like that. Like I have encountered amazing Middle Easterns or Arabs, whatever. Uh, that's so bad because that's pretty much like saying like, oh, I've met a few what, bad, you know, African Americans or black people. So I'm just gonna assume that they're all bad. I'm not assuming that they're all bad. I just prefer to give my business to another African American. And the specific company I'm talking about is actually like super big in Florida. I have met the family of the owners of this franchise and they have told me that their family is like this so yeah anyway with that being said i have to go to the spice store right now because i can't find these lashes anywhere else but this specific beauty spice store but anything else i need beauty related is getting bought off amazon or from another black company period sorry about it that's just how i feel same with nail techs the reason why i learned to do my own nails is because i would go to predominantly Asian owned nail salons and they would treat me shitty like so shitty so now I do my own nail period that's it I don't know that's just how I feel <sighs> so my sister's getting her hair done and she wanted me to come to where she was at to bring her some braiding hair triple lock you gotta <laughs> and then you leave if her house is on fire god forbid god forbid it's gonna take her just one extra second to get out than anybody else <laughs> yeah she did her hair you know it's cute or whatever but anyway moving on to more cuter things look at the dog <laughs> isn't he so adorable Marley, you, you might get a big break, bro. <laughs> Say hi, mom. You never know who's looking. Look at his face. Oh, he's so cute. This dog has eyebrows, y'all. Like, look at this. Aww. He's so cute. He is. Hey guys, so I'm at. You don't always say I'm at my cousin's house, but this ain't their house. What? This is oh, Chris's and my teen's house. Oh, okay, but we live here, so technically. But y'all can't afford. They. But what is theirs? <laughs> no, this is their house. Y'all just live here. Damn. She's so cute. Yeah, like, Aww. Say hi. Hi. 
Aww. And then they have a new dog named Sky. She's still a puppy. Sit. Sit. Good dog. Good job. Good job. You're so beautiful. No, don't lick my camera. She told me she wanted that. She got her little LOL family. We are LOL family. Oh my gosh, let me see. It's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. She don't care. It's upside down. <clears throat> Cold. <laughs> she wanted LED lights, so she got her LED light. LED light. Oh, you don't have LED. Oh, dang! They got you to knock off LEDs. Dang. No problem. No Honestly, I wasn't sure if you were a gold or silver girl, but okay, cool. Aww. What is it? A butterfly. Whoa. Well, bra bracelet. Anklet. Bracelet. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's a necklace. Oh my goodness. It look cute with a turtleneck, oh, you know. And I just bought one too. You just bought. Oh, I thought you meant one of those. Oh, okay. Yes. So she got her little oh hip, hip hop jewelry. Oh. <laughs> Ming Ming. You're so cute. Ming Ming, come here. Girl, I'm calling you. Aww. So adorable. So I'm at my sister's house. I'm about to leave my sister's house. So the funniest thing just happened to my sister. My sister saw like a little silverfish bug. You know, we find them, they're always in the house. I don't know if that's a Florida thing. Those shits are scary. So, she's trying to kill it, right? As she's trying to kill it, I guess her cat came and like her cat's tail brushed up against her leg and she went, he's on my leg! And then she starts freaking out and then she trips and falls and then the cat like, bolts out of the room. It's like the, it was just the funniest thing ever. And the way my sister fell, first of all, it, it seemed like she fell in slow motion. And on top of that, she bounced a couple of times. Oh, she bounced like a basketball. <laughs> bounce that body like a basketball living out. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Yo, that was so funny. Hey guys, so I just got home. Look at all the lint all over my clothes. It's crazy. While I was at my aunt's house i like measured myself on the scale and i am the heaviest i have ever been and i'm gonna do something about it because i don't like it i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got i got this resistance band that is gonna go up here i hope it fits i got three packs of led daylight light bulbs because now i'm vlogging more i need better lighting all around my house not that yellow lighting that your apartment typically comes with. I went to the beauty supply store and I got these hair ties. Um, I just love them. They're super stretchy. I got some mini rubber bands. I always find myself needing these so I went ahead and picked them up. Then I got these roller sets because I always find myself wanting like big body waves and uh, I can never achieve that look with my flat iron. I always try so hard, but I could just can never do it. So I went ahead and bought these. I went ahead and got some wig caps. If you know, you know. I went ahead and got some Ambi bar soap. Honestly, like this really doesn't do anything. So it kind of claims that it helps you achieve like an even tone, but I personally don't think it does. But honestly, this smells so good, like so good. Oh my gosh. I just love the smell of the soap, so that's really why I bought it. Lashes, lashes, more lashes. 
more lashes, more lashes, more lashes, more lashes, more lashes, more lashes. I got so many of these lashes because these are like my go-to lashes and where I live, I don't live near any beauty supply stores and I can only find these lashes at beauty supply stores. I've looked on their website, I cannot find these damn lashes. But it's in the INV in 104. For those of you who are always asking me what lashes I'm wearing, it's usually these. I'm not wearing them today because I ran out, but these are my go-to lashes right here. I freaking love them. Some people hate them because they're so long and dramatic. I love them, so whatever. Everything about me is a little extra. Some Chanel inspired stud earrings. And I also found these big ones. These are gonna be so cute. Just look, they're so pretty. And I got a roller fragrance thing. Okay, this is in Pink Friday. I love the oil way more than I love the body spray. It smells so good. I always mix it with my higher end perfume and people are always asking me what I'm wearing. And one more thing, I got my Scentbird fragrance in the mail and I got DKNY Be Delicious and honestly, it smells so good. It's like it starts off floral and it ends off sweet. Mm, it smells good. I love it. But yeah, that's everything that I got. I'm going to figure out how to unravel this and I'm going to put it up. And if I figure it out, I'll be right back. All right, so I figured it out. I hope it stays. I like it but I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a happy new year make sure you guys stay safe and don't forget to speak good words into the universe so that good things return back to you and don't forget to like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks for watching bye Cause I'm all that you want, boy Woo!